गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास क्लास टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर फोर दैट इज़ फूड चेन नोइंग इनफ अबाउट एडेप्टेशंस एंड मॉडिफिकेशंस इन लिविंग थिंग्स टू कॉम्बैट द हार्डशिप ऑफ द एनवायरनमेंट it helps them to survive in the toughest time and uh, knowing enough about the usage of body features which are well suited to their environment we today we will discuss in detail what is food chain and the food chain is basically the energy flow among animals and food chain shows the relationship among living things and it tells us how the energy is transferred through living things in the form of food what is food you know the material the substance the stuff we take we eat to get energy is the food so here we begin a food chain is a linear network of links in a web starting from producer organism and ending at apex predator species means decomposer species what is it you will understand this definition after few slides a few sh- chain also shows how the organisms are related with each other by the food they eat and each level of a food chain represents a different tropical level so the whole story is beginning from the sun you know sun is the source main source of energy on earth planet every time we say this but why we say this because all the energy that is utilized on the earth it's a natural source it's abundant it's free in nature and sun becomes the source of food also how is it possible because we are not eating light but it is the energy which is used by the plants to make their food do you remember the process of photosynthesis yes of course you know it and sun is the form sun is the source of energy which produces light and heat now how are we going to use that light you know the plants and algae are the producers why they are called as producers because they are using light energy water and carbon dioxide to make their food to make their glucose to make their starch so plants are called as producers because they are making their own food by photosynthesis okay so the next group of animal is called as consumers so the food chain begins with plants producing energy producing food and the plants are eaten by consumers and those animals are called as consumers which feed on plants and consumers are classified as primary consumers secondary consumers and tertiary consumers how it happens primary consumers are those animals which directly feed on plants but look at these examples the grasshopper the butterfly the fish the squirrel the zebra 
the rabbit and the seahorse all these animals are feeding on plants the next level is called as secondary consumers secondary consumers are carnivores carnivores are those animals which are flesh eating animals and herbivores are those animals which eat on plants which eat on herbs so secondary consumers are carnivores and omnivores yes omnivores means which eat both plants and animals so those animals which feed primary consumers are called as secondary consumers for example think about these animals which directly feed on plants and this group of animals this owl can feed the squirrel a fish and a rat so the owl becomes secondary consumer because it can eat the primary consuming animals the last stage comes the tertiary consumers tertiary consumers are carnivores and omnivores that eat secondary consumers like about the snake the snake can eat this fish the snake can eat this frog and the lion yes the lion can eat this hyena the dolphin the fish and the seal so tertiary consumers even the human beings are also called as tertiary consumers because we are eating all those animals and plants which are dependent on each other yes now we will be seeing in this picture that a tertiary consumer is hunting a secondary consumer this picture is telling us so much about it you just zoom the picture and see what is happening for food okay the last stage is decomposers decomposers are those microorganisms for example bacteria and fungi these decomposers are microorganisms which get their nutrients or they feed on the remains of the living things remains means when animal die they are decomposed or broken down by microorganisms into simpler substances these simpler substances are then added to the soil or water which becomes the food of plants so this is how the energy flows continuously on earth for example in this food chain we can see a plant producing its own food is starting the food chain this butterfly is feeding on the plant then consumer is consuming the butterfly then a snake is eating the frog and when snake dies it is decomposed by microorganism and the remains of the snake means the decomposed material of the snake or the dead material of the snake is decomposed and added to the soil to add minerals and these minerals are then again absorbed by the plants using sunlight another example you can see the plant the grass producing its own food then the zebra is feeding on the plant then hyena is eating the zebra then hyena can further be eaten by the lion and after the death of the lion it is decomposed and added as mineral to the soil 
heavy again so this is how the energy is flowing among animals you know every animal needs food to survive it is the utmost need to maintain the process of life so this is how the one animal is feeding another animal maintaining its number so today i have explained the whole winded up the chapter number 4 and i am sure you have learned a lot in this class now read the topic well from the book so that you will be prepared for the questions coming in assignment thank you god bless you class see you tomorrow